Hey everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. I'm Leinster 101 JP. That is Public Enemy 59 Lowe's, and our special guest, our cousin from Toronto, Canada, What's Leo. Up, guys? Um, so we are back all together once again. Yes, uh, moving forward, hopefully. Oh, I'll, long time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been a long fucking time since we all yeah, been here. I'm happy but to be part of it. Feel like I game. haven't seen you guys in forever. Yeah, that OT though, it'd be looking nice on that check. Uh, that vacation was nice. That vacation was Austin nice. Austin was, nice. was nice. The yeah. river was nice. Oh, super nice. That too. The drinks was nice. were nice. Maybe not to you. No, that ramen was not nice. Oh, nasty ass shit. Hey, who, who, who eats ramen? Don't, on vacation? If you go to Austin, do not go to Topsia. In Austin, it's fucking trash. If you trash. literally go on vacation anywhere but Asia, why would you have ramen? <laughs> well, Leo, why would we have ramen? I gave you a list of places. You picked ramen. Yeah, whatever. Who picks ramen? Whatever. You're in anyway, Texas. You're in Austin. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into let's the show. Go. Let's go. Uh, we got some good stuff for you. So let's start off with Showtime. Showtime is making movements, I guess, for competition. We got to start with pop. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's start with pop. So essentially, uh, we are. Uh, it's, nah, I, I forgot. It's, it's, been it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm rusty. You're rusty. I'm rusty. So Showtime is now competing. I'm sh- pretty sure with HBO and Amazon, trying to come up with some good shows. And, and they are. And, and and I mean, and well, they did. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, the show's game changer. The the and shows haven't come out yet, but they did announce that they are going to do a John Wick TV show. But oh. it's, it's based it's based around from from what. So my you're saying, I get John Wick every week. Yeah. Busting yeah. heads open? Cracking heads open? Not confirmed. It might not be not Keanu denied. Reeves. It not might not denied. be Keanu Reeves. Not denied. I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking it. there's a lore. I, there's it's no the way. lore around the the assassin life uh, in the John Wick story. So I think that'd be cool just hey, to see exactly as long what's as he going come, on. You know, maybe pops in a couple I of episodes. I agree. If he com- comes in a couple yeah, of episodes. Yeah, especially episodes. if it's about lore, you can have him yeah. just come in and just do yeah. Yeah. Just real Little quick. cameos. And- yeah, or maybe we can find out what happened with him and Halle Berry. Uh, in the past with her daughter. They had um, sex. <laughs> I'm they had sex. Nothing else. <laughs> that's, that's I want to see the sex that's scene. Matters. I want sex scenes. No, um, I'm hyped about this. Uh, Me too. Now, it's slated to come out after John Wick 4, which they have confirmed is in development. Ooh, that's um, not going to come out to like two years. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're looking at a ways out for this, for for this, this show. show to come out because they're just in the planning phases. Um, I, uh, did we not introduce Jerk? Jerk's here. You, you, we got Jerk's here today, yeah. also. Jerk's here. Man yeah. behind the magic. About him. Uh, he's the one controlling everything. Yeah, he's okay. just kind of quiet over there. He's just patrolling Kingo. today. He's just uh, patrolling today. What do you today. think, man? What do you think about the show? Uh, is I. All right. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Not yeah, bad. Uh, I'm super words. hyped about it. If yeah, I me to too. See some fucking, uh, you know. No, just oh, uh, and there has to be some dog. Yeah, it has to be some dogs. Yeah, some I dog. I want a dog. I want and corgi. I want fucking corgis corgi. attacking people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Just that's what I want. A pair of them. Yes. Goddamn. And sometime time hire me as a producer. I, I got money for you guys. Just coming in. And then uh, not only that, they did announce the Halo live action uh, uh, show coming out. Um, so apparently they, from I what I, Showtime. it's about, yeah, it's, Showtime's it's trying time. to make big movements. But it's and about Halo's time, big. Man. People are gonna it's, watch that it's shit. It's about time they have a live action show for Halo because like. Everybody's no. been wanting it for. To be honest, I just well, want they a did decent, do one. They did do a live action game, but it was like an episode. Remember, Elias? Uh, uh, they have some. They like, did like I said, they had sample footage. What they did was no, they, no, no, no. They have no, an they actual. Have did they, did action they release stuff. something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have one. Uh, if you look it up, uh, um, they do have one where it's like four episodes and it's based on the uh, attack. Okay. Uh, um, and it's like with those four little kids. Damn. Remember. Um, and then like it clearly wasn't, the, the, it didn't was Master Chief yeah it. Master Chief was in it and he was protecting really? them it was pretty good um, I'm and, uh, well, they... but this is Showtime they're they're coming with that Halo live action and, and they, they already got Master Chief and now they have Cortana yeah which, uh, which is, is Natasha Malcolm. Natasha she Malcolm. was one of the chicks from uh, Californication from uh, the 90s I guess Californication is like not that old it's, it's like 2000s bro you said that's 90s. fucking old. That's like late nineties. Oh, right. You're right. adding another so, ten years. So, so it's, it's not late nineties. Late 90s. It's two thousand. So she's what, like probably in I, her. Like, I just 30s, remember seeing her. Thirties kind of thing. She was okay. Do you guys remember Jim Carrey in that movie um, where he's like they, they make him grow into this little world and they control the world? You know. What I'm uh, oh, you mean the Truman Show? The Truman, Truman Show. Show. That's her. The fucking one that Truman he, Show. Oh, the one that he loved. The one that he falls in love with. That's oh, her. Oh, really? And that's her from okay. the fucking nineties. All right, but she's done shit recently. Oh, she's done other shit. I don't gotta say she's from. Motherfucking 90s. From the 90s. She didn't right. just, she didn't, like, just 
come from the 90s. She's <laughs> nah, but uh, what do you think? Of, I, I, I don't, I, I'm kind of having doubts about this Halo show. I mean, I like, I'm like Showtime. To be honest, Showtime hasn't given me the greatest content. Bullshit, Spartacus, bitch. Okay, with the, no, but the, that was season a while one. Ago. Season that one, season one, exactly. Because then got, that motherfucker died. Yeah. And then, <laughs> hey, man, don't hate him. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Man, don't hate him. He got a right, cancer. All right, it's right, not me. like he was like, oh, right, I'm going to die now. He was like, he, he had cancer. And he had cancer during the show, and he was still cut up. He was. That dude looked like oh, the best. And then the replacement was trash. And acted from season one. And that's why they got this other crappy actor. Yeah, he sucked. And he sucked. And he just, I stopped watching the show after that. It was never the same. It was never the same after season one. Yeah, because you fall in love with that character from season one. His body. You know. You know what's actually really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, sorry. Hey, that man was cut up though. He was cut up. Someone who had cancer. Lord Jesus, have mercy. I forgot what his name was. Uh, that's the type of body that I want. R.I.P. R.I.P. Now, but uh, last thing. Um, I mean. The Irishman trailer yeah, so came the, out. So Netflix came out with, uh-huh. I guess they partnered with Martin Scorsese. I don't know how to pronounce Scorsese. it. Scorsese. 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 What the Scorsese. fuck his name is? The guy who made Goodfellas. Uh, essentially, <laughs> a, lot wow. they, a lot of movies. But uh, he came out with this trailer called The Irishman with the original people from Goodfellas. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the actors from there. A lot of the actors. Including, all the including. Irish movie actors are in this. So Italian, Joe Italian, Pesci's Italian, in it. Italian. Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, um, uh, Al Pacino's Al Pacino. in them. That's, that's the one that is crazy to throw into the mix is Al Pacino. Because all these guys have always done movies yeah, like, together, together, but not yeah. never all together. Like, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. like... Robert De Niro, Al Pacino did a movie probably Joe Pesci and Al Pacino did a movie but all together never happened. Well, before. I, I to be honest, like I'm I'm sorry to interrupt, but, uh, but I'm not. I saw the trailer and it was. Just it, was not of, it, it, it was not impressive. It was not impressive. You know, okay, yeah, these motherfuckers are cool. Yeah, it's Scorsese, but nothing about it was like, oh shit, this is the pinnacle. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is gonna be the pinnacle of mob movies. Like nothing about it but, said that. It was just a bunch of back talking in the background yeah, yeah, and yeah. shots of motherfuckers talking and badass gold rings and nothing about it was like but what, mind blown. But what I like about that is because they're not overhyping it. You know what I mean? If it No, if, they if, are if, overhyping they're it. They're overhyping it, man. They are overhyping but, but, it. Big time. But the trailer's not overhyping it. The trailer's the trailer, not great. The trailer exactly. So the trailer's what, not what I'm great hoping at all. for what I'm hoping for is that because they're the trailer's not anything crazy. Yeah. That when we watch the movie, it's actually gonna like. So you're wishful us. thinking. It's a bunch of old motherfuckers. It is. It is. It is. A bunch of it is wishful thinking. Yeah. Because like, I yeah, you're right. Like, the trailer wasn't anything. Super and we special. saw it on Netflix. We, we were in Austin when we yeah. saw the trailer, and I told you I might as well just watch Goodfellas because it's better. So. I like. Well, I, have faith, I have faith. I have faith. Yeah. I have the faith. The in, is I have faith in Scorsese because he has Goodfellas, Gangs in New York. The Departed. He does Departed. have some good Like shit. he has. He has, good he has shit. enough yeah. stuff under his belt. Not like, like Quentin Tarantino with this latest Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It was, was good, but it wasn't was great. Not that great. It was all right. It there was, was a like, huge low in the middle of yeah, that movie. Yeah. yeah. But this is Quentin. No, it was a huge low. The whole fucking movie until the end was a fucking low. But let's. So let's go ahead and move right along. So we're going to go to. Sports! <sighs> Touchdown! It's a home run! Go! <laughs> Sports. Sports. All right. Space so, um, you guys watch baseball, and of course, in that sport, I guess they're going through uh, the tra- the trade deadline. Yes, yes. Uh, I do understand the Astros made a recent move. Yes, it did. Uh, yeah. So uh, it yes, looks it like the Astros won uh, the trade deadline. Uh, like out of all the teams, you mean? Out of all the teams, uh, there were a lot of teams who made some good moves. Uh, Cincinnati, I want to point out, got uh, 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 pu- 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 puke. Puke, yeah, puke. yeah. Oh, you're so puke. Yeah, oh, puke. It's not, it's not puke. puke. It's yeah, puke. the one who licks his bed all the time. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> puke. Uh, Cincinnati yeah, made some bad. moves and uh and got got him as a DH. He's out of the NL where he was fucking playing a position out there. Now he's just strictly a DH, DH which he, he should be. Like, yeah, because the guy's, the guy's a not a great out, uh position player. But he has an arm. Have you seen him throw sometimes? Like, yeah, that's accurate. true. That's Ooh. true. That's true. Uh, but I think as a DH, he fits so much better in the AL. And I think since he got them got themselves a really nice RBI producing um, guy in the middle of that lineup, mm-hmm. and he's already proven uh, worth. He's already gotten some RBIs for them. Uh, but yes, uh, the Astros won uh, the trade deadline. Uh, Ghostros. Uh, 
went ahead and and block. Well, I wouldn't call it a blockbuster deal because the Astros gave up a bunch of um, um, prospects. Prospects, yeah. but a, a big deal for the Astros, nonetheless. Uh, they got Granky from the Diamondbacks. Uh, he had a big, huge contract attached to him, but the Astros managed to get uh, the Arizona to go ahead and pay for a portion of that contract. Yeah, that's always sweet. Uh, uh, yeah, so you're not paying the whole contract out of pocket themselves. They, <laughs> they get that. Him. Yeah, <laughs> they get themselves a uh, a legit uh, ace, uh, a third ace mm-hmm. next to Verlander and Cole. And all you really gave up was some pieces of your farm. So now all they need is like second round. They, I they, mean, second round, second pitchers. They they don't. So yeah, they don't. They open. Don't. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, Which they also they stacked have. They with have Budgie. That. Yeah, we. They already had a decent bullpen. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, well what's his name? Uh, they, Presley got injured. Yeah. They made a move for Bajiani, who is from the uh, Blue Jays. They also made a move with the Blue Jays to acquire <laughs> some pitching. <laughs> yeah, gave but, up Derek Fisher to the Blue Jays. But to be honest, the, the guys you picked up, Joe Biagini, he, yeah. he 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 always blows it. Okay. Like, he, he's never consistent. Okay. And then the other guy, Aaron Sanchez, is like trash. Like literally trash. His record. Oh, as he's a pitcher starting this year? today. Actually, yeah, he's gonna be trash, right? And <laughs> his his record is literally what th- happened to that positive three, mentality? Three and fourteen. He literally has only won three games. Yeah. And lost fourteen. Like he is the worst pitcher in the entire league right now. Uh, well, but with he, the Astros, the fortunes might change. Like, you know, like change maybe. Yeah. Well, like word. Like if there's any team he's gonna play good on, it's gonna be Look the at Astros. Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie, Flutie was from the '90s. I don't think people watching know <laughs> about Doug Flutie. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, you guys are showing your age here. Yeah. Uh, anyways, go, uh, but uh, in return, uh, Toronto got Derek, Derek Fisher. Fisher. Uh, what do you think about that move? Uh, you know what? A lot of a lot of Ra- uh, Raptors, a lot of Blue Jay fans were like super hesitant about it. Like they're just they didn't understand it because we're like, okay, we gave up two pitchers for a guy that I think is his uh, hitting is what like. Two thirty something, like it's pretty not not good at yeah, all. Yeah, but he hasn't had the time on there to really. That's true. He's on he's on a stack team with the yeah. throws before, right? So I don't know. A lot. One one uh, analyst said he's basically a not even triple A. He's a quadruple A player. Mm-hmm. So like giving up so much for that, kind of like a lot of a lot of the fans were like, "What the hell?" What are and, you and, doing? A, and a lot what of non- do, what are you, like what are, what what are managers doing? Like yeah. Now, and a lot of non-moves made in this trade deadline. A lot of pieces that people thought were going to be gone out of their teams have stayed. For example, you had uh, Bump Garner staying with uh, San Francisco, the Giants, who everyone thought he was going to be moved out. It seems that no one really offered the Giants something worth. And plus, they they are kind of pushing for a run to make it into the playoffs. So yeah. it, it was kind of like, well, if you're gonna offer something for Bumgarner, you gotta really bring it. Yeah. And no one brought it. Yeah. Uh, uh, also for the Mets, Syndergaard, uh, Thor. Everyone had oh. rumored this whole month that Syndergaard was gonna be moved. Mets were gonna move him. Mets were gonna move him. It didn't happen. Also, it seems it's, that no one offered the and, pieces to. And instead, the Mets. I like they got Strowman instead, so they yeah. made their bullpen yeah, yeah, yeah. Like way fucking and better with, exactly. with Strowman from the yeah. Jays. So yeah, uh, so we'll they, see how they that... kind of won this trade too. Yeah, that's that's a big. He was I one mean, of the big. Strowman, like... No, Strowman is a great piece to add, but yeah. I still think the Astros with the with the Granky yeah, trade. I, guess, I mean, yeah. that's well, you guys huge. already stacked, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, I'm sorry. One more, a couple okay, of more ahead, things. The non moves by Boston and New York are huge. When in a, in a trade deadline thing. where basically all the uh, a lot of the top teams were making looking to add those pieces to make that final uh, World Series push, uh, Astros were the really one of the only ones that oh, accomplished nice. that. You had uh, in the AL uh, Boston and, and New York who made small moves, but nothing, nothing significant. Yeah. Uh, Boston, I don't even think made any moves. Uh, nothing significant to really push them over the top, and that's worrying for those fan bases. You know, when you were expecting something to be done. Nothing happened. So, uh, well, at least they're not the Knicks. That's true. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Ghost Rose, uh, you know, so, uh, my favorite to win the World Series. So, moving along to uh, football, so I want to give out some congratulations to the new Hall of Famers that have been inducted into the Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame class. Uh, yeah, that's that would uh, be, work hard, man. Work hard, right? Work, work hard. hard. Work and it's some of my favorite players that I grew up watching. Uh, of course, we have the one of the best tight ends of all time. I think the second best tight end of all time. Um, the number one would be Shannon Sharp, in my opinion. Uh, would be Tony mm. Gun- Tony Gonzalez. Tony yeah. Gonzalez. Gonzalez Tony Gonzalez was amazing. one of the best tight ends I ever saw play. He was uh, practically the only star. Played most of his career with in Kansas City. Yeah, and was a legend. 
made it the iconic dunk on the post. Yeah, on the post. Uh, yeah, he yeah. started that. He's one of that. Yeah. yeah, but the, the dumbass never left Kansas City. He should have left Kansas City. He's won loyal, a championship. Man. He's a loyal but uh, he has he doesn't have a Super Bowl ring at all. But he has a stats. Oh, um, he did no, play. For sure, one of the top three. Yeah, tight ends of he all did time. play in an era where it got a little bit easier to catch the ball and all that what? stuff. But um, at, at the end of his career, because he did play with Matt Ryan uh, with the Atlanta Falcons. Oh so, yeah, he did. So he did. He tried to get them a Super Bowl there, but they lost. The I want to talk time. about Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey is one of the best cornerbacks I ever saw play not in far the none. NFL. Shut down. One of the first really got in about, the age of yeah, throwing Revis the Island. ball. Oof, you, in the age of throwing the ball is king. Quarterbacks were ruling the league. Champ Bailey was there shutting down receivers. Shutting down half of the field. So shout out to Champ Bailey. He started Man, off with the Washington Redskins. What a legend. They traded him to the Denver Broncos. I don't know why. That was a stupid trade. Yeah, and then became a freaking legend with and the And became Broncos. a legend with the Broncos. Oh, yeah. So they messed up big time. So shout out to him. Not I love only, Champ Bailey. Not he, only that, uh, um, we got uh, the one cornerback that I hated with the Patriots, uh, Ty Law. Oh, uh, Ty Law. Super underrated. Also, super underrated. one of those shutdown corners that people didn't really pay much, much mind to because he wasn't a trash talker. He wasn't like... No, nah, he was quiet. He wouldn't want his business. The yeah. trash talker was uh, uh, Harrison. Oh, Marvin Harrison. Oh, uh, no, no, it wasn't uh, Marvin Harrison. Uh, uh, what was his fucking name? Yeah, yeah I know. You know, the, the stereotyping motherfucker from nah, San Diego. shut the fuck up. Uh, 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 no, but Ty Law, like <laughs> legitimate shutdown corner. Had some of his best years uh, with the Patriots and won a bunch of championships. If it was not for Ty Law... The Patriots will not have two Super Bowls. Number one, uh, Ty Law picked off Peyton Manning every goddamn oh, time. He had his number. He had his yeah. number. For some strange reason, he would always pick off Peyton Manning. So, uh, well, shout Peyton out Manning. to Ty Law. And then, of course, we have probably the best safety of all fucking time. Uh, Palomalu's out uh, No, but he's better than Palomalu. Uh, um, Ed Reed. Ed Reed. Ed, Ed Reed's pretty good. Is, oh, I don't even know football. Is a legit. Ed Reed's legit. Ed Reed's legit. Uh, the best safety I ever saw play. Troy Paul is number two, but uh, nah, uh, Ed Reed <laughs> is was. But Ed Reed. Uh, Touchdown uh, machine, cons- too. Constructed one of the best defenses in that uh, Super Bowl team with the oh, with Baltimore. Ravens. Yeah, yeah, with the Baltimore. Was that 99 or? No, 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 no. He came out after. Uh, so after the year they won the Super Bowl, they got him the oh, next, the next the year. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, so he didn't win a Super Bowl until he got with San Francisco. Oh, but, uh, I mean, <laughs> Ed Reed, amazing. I mean, even Bill Belichick was scared of him. Tom Brady was like this around him. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, he was he's the best safety, hands down. The Texans Palomar. had him. Texans had him. I don't know what Gary Kubiak did, but he chatted that relationship with the Texans. And, uh, he was with the Texans? Yeah, for, he was there in Texas yeah. for like a couple of games, remember? And then he was yeah, just like, he fuck came these for guys. A season they don't and, want to know how to win. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, but it, to happened. be honest, he didn't play that well. Then you got True. some off the field uh, personalities, uh, ambassadors of the game. You got Gil Brandt, Pat Bowling, Scout, Pat Bowling, the owner of Denver Broncos. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, some, you know, congrats to them. Uh, then you got Johnny Robinson, who's like, uh, to me the least. It's look, the rest are like old players that were waiting. Kevin Mawai was a guard. Was a guard right? for Seattle. Yeah, uh, and he was for, solid for, for a long time. Who was the running back? Sean Alexander. Uh, he. <laughs> I don't even know if they remember that. Sean Alexander used to be a badass running back. Uh, uh, not as, uh, yeah, he was he was great. Don't was, get me wrong. They went to Super Bowl because they went to Super Marshawn Lynch later yeah. in the, uh, a decade later. Yeah. later yeah. You're like, oh shit, this is a running. Well, back. I mean, at the but so, Sean Alexander was solid, yeah, but he, fast, he, big body. Yeah, but, he was but a beast. Uh, this offensive lineman Maui, uh, mm-hmm. he, he has history of, of uh, always being a really good center. So, uh, shout out to him. But the main four that I mentioned before, those are the main ones that I saw personally like. Like hardcore, yeah. Uh, you you know, watch household things, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah So, yeah. Uh, you know, shout outs to them. I'm excited that, that we got our first preseason game out the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, that means we got about four more weeks, and then um, football starts. Football starts. Ooh. Yes, sir. Is there any preseason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? So keep an eye out for our uh, football prediction show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was right last year, like always. Uh, go Pats! Uh, wait, but wait. Uh, <laughs> quick prediction: Where how where are the Texans gonna finish? I don't think Texas. Oh man, I don't want to talk about Texas. Man. I hate that coach. I hate that coach with the passion. Let's just ignore it for right now. I'll give you my impressions later. But uh, so no, shout out to them. It, not good. And also um, today, as a matter of fact, uh, moving on to uh, NBA, uh, Draymond, Ge- 
Draymond Green. Um, it's trash. Uh, uh, yeah, trash? I no, he's one of the best trash. defensive players in the league. I don't know. I, it's trash. I, I and know. he shoots a solid three. No, he's trash. You saw, you saw the Raptors beat him, right? Yeah. He's trash. He's trash. They Pro. took advantage of him. Yeah. They beat yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he was, he was Siakam was yeah. killing him, Siakam bro. Siakam was just making Siakam a fool of him. Nonetheless, no. Siakam was the best defensive players in the league. Because now, Siakam. they gave him a contract extension for Draymond Green for four years. The guy is good. Siakam's good. Yeah. But Draymond's supposed to be this fucking amazing defensive yeah. player. Right? Yeah, he was like, I'm the best uh, NBA yeah, uh, defensive player too. ever. And he then Yakum was like, right hold my beer. Yakum. Yeah. Yakum. Yeah. 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 It was exactly. bad. He signed it his contract. Off him laying it up. Yeah. Like, he got a he contract extension. It, man. Next year, it seems he'll be a max player. Of course player. he's going to be a max player. So that bears the question. Like, some money. How, what is Golden State going to do? Well, they gave him a contract extension, so at the end of that contract extension, they'll see what they're going to do for him. I don't no, think... No, but I mean next year, for example, like because they have uh, Clay Thompson. They have Clay Thompson. And that's they it. They have... Uh, uh, fucking um, that's it. Uh, Russell Wilson, not Russell Wilson. Fuck. Oh, you're talking uh, about Russell, uh, 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 you're talking about the one from the D'Angelo Russell, who also has a max, who is a snitch, who also has a max contract, who is a snitch, and then you got Draymond, who just got paid. So how you can't afford all these guys? Well, we'll the see what they tax, do. Man. The luxury tax, you're just gonna be paying all yeah, the luxury so, tax. No one pays. Hey, no one pays the luxury tax. I'm gonna tell you like this. Like they, I'm gonna tell you like this. If no, no one's paying the luxury. Tax. Once, once Clay Thompson, tax. once Clay Thompson leaves the Warriors, it's over. Dude, you really? I, think I, he's I, gonna, I, like, they will never win a championship. Really I, 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 I really, I think, think, so. I really think it's over for the Warriors. They're not gonna. Yeah, win. They're I, not, I think they're so not too. Win I think anymore. so too. But that's it. I feel like when KD leaving, that's it. Yeah, that's KD it. Like, get, championship. Yes. Okay, maybe not. But they're they're still no. I'll be in the playoffs. I'll be in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. But so speaking of that, of course, I was watching on NBA Carmelo Anthony. Um, uh, talking about his his non fair world tour. I didn't see that. What happened? He, yeah, he basically said, too. "Look, man, come on, Anthony. We know how he is. He has an ego. Supposedly now his ego's gone. He's willing to play bench. I don't believe that bullshit." Raptors, um, Raptors he, up. Yeah, and he's like, "This is not my fair world tour. I'm, I, I'm, I can, you know, play like two, three more years." Uh, bye, Carmelo Anthony. It was nice seeing you in the NBA. Too yes. bad you couldn't win a championship because you had too much of an ego. So he, he honestly, the only way he's gonna get on any NBA team is if he's willing to take a pay cut. Yeah, like Vince, uh, like Vince, yeah, Car- Vince you're giving Carter that money. guy a fucking bench contract. Yeah, like, Vince yeah. Carter money. You know well, yeah. I mean, if he wants to stay in the NBA, he he's like been, a league minimum. He's been bitching about it. <laughs> like Stephen A. Still, man, I love Stephen A. Stephen A. was hitting him with them hard ass questions. He was like, "Your wife came up on here and said that you would never, <laughs> never go to the bench." That's and he was rude, like, yeah. "Well, you know, that was then. This is now." So it was crazy. But uh, yeah, so it was pretty little bit hectic in it, sports. He's honestly just being a, cor- a crybaby. Yeah. He's like, he's just, he's just like. Begging for a team now. But let's move on to gaming. Yo, 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 yo. Game over. So, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of depressed because I saw these little bitch-ass kids, like Stranger stranger Things, age shit, win fucking money. So, stranger there was a Fortnite kids. World Cup tournament. <laughs> these bitch-ass little kids that don't have no jobs. All they do is go to school, fucking practice, like fucking 24 fucking hours and shit. Uh, the number one winner won six million dollars. Yeah, Boog does. He's sixteen years fucking old. Good three, for him, won man. three million. Three, three million. million. Yeah. Oh, oh, big fucking whoop de doo. Three yeah, fucking million. Bugta, Bugta, what's his name? Buddha. 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 Yeah, that's his name. He was on Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, 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 just uh, practice after school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hating. I'm hating. I need three million in my life, motherfuckers. God damn. Uh, yeah, uh, he won the uh, World Cup. I think fifth place even won like a million bucks. It no, was like third, 900K. the third place was like a 15-year-old or th- 14-year-old crying with his dad because he won third place and he won like one million. No, I think that was fifth place. That's who I was That's talking crazy. about. That's crazy. Yeah. Fifth place and you still win a million? A million? Come on. And his dad was like, it's, it's all good. yours. It's all yours. It's all yours. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, bullshit. Yeah, fuck your head off. Paying off the house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because as a parent, you the basically car. get <laughs> Bro, it was nothing but little kids yeah. winning the top five. Of course, yeah. man. These, these they are, have the best this... reflexes. Those motherfuckers yeah. are like, ah, who, who do you think's playing <laughs> Fortnite, man? It's little kids. Like, they're hey, the ones. They're the Thank you for admitting it. I've been saying that shit for a long, long time, and I've been called a hater. They're the best of the best. They just want a million dollars. They just want a million dollars, motherfucker. You're paying the wrong shit. 
fuck that. Go fuck that. Yeah, yeah, it's game. true. Like, the if you want to, if you want to make money, you gotta play Fortnite. The total prize pool was like thirty million. God damn. Total distributed to everyone, just yeah. thirty mil, just yeah. boom, boom. Oh, but uh, Booga, uh, out of that three mil, uh, New York charged uh, uh, out of <laughs> taxes and federal taxes one point five mil, so he gets so half of that oh, shit. So Who gives a shit? Oh, regardless, he was dude, that's a half of the. That's half of it, bro. That's yeah. a lot, man. Well, I mean, it, uh, New York is. So you know, but let's go ahead and move along. Because he was, if he was here in Texas, he wouldn't have been charged that much. No state tax. No state tax. Only federal tax. Exactly. Why? Because we're. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But let's move along. Um, I took advantage of that today. I got some electronics today. Oh, look at you! And in Toronto, y'all don't have that. Of course, we do. I don't know if you have TV. We just have our, like our taxes. Oh, uh, uh, here I pulled it up. The the prize pool for the winnings: first place three million, second place one point eight. Third place, 1.2. Fourth place, 1.05. Fifth place was 900,000. Sixth is 600,000, and so forth. The 21st through the 100th, I'll get $50,000. Do they have a tournament? $50,000? Do they have a tournament like this for Siege? No, this is the first. Bro, Uh, you suck at Siege. Get the and then fuck it wasn't, out of here. It wasn't just like uh, the single players. It was duos. Duos had the same prize pool of three duos? million for the winner. Wow. Yeah. Why didn't you join that tournament, Elias? Why well, I suck at Fortnite. <laughs> Do you know where you're ranked? No. I don't play like that. Do I, 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 I play super casual. Yeah, game. man. I know. I know people are just like they know their ranking in the world. Oh shit! Like well, that. no, I'm not. I'm like fifty thousand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the new yeah, battle probably. pass came out for Fortnite the other day. The new season. season. Yeah. Which, mm-hmm. it looks pretty legit, pretty, yeah, me- fucking mechs all over the place, fucking destroying everything, whatever. Um, <laughs> speaking of Fortnite, yeah. I wanted to bring up uh, Ninja, right? Yeah, yeah. The, mm-hmm. the most popular Fortnite transition. streamer yeah. in the world. Uh, with fucking, Twitch? Was with Twitch. Was with, with Twitch. Twitch, left Twitch, and, 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 and now signed a deal to, to stream exclusively with Mixer. If you don't know what the fuck Mixer is, it's another streaming service. Uh, fi- I'm about like to find Twitch. out. I'm going to look into it So on Mixer. So I think we should probably ask the person who Twitch is the most in your what like, he thinks about that. Oh, um, honestly, uh, I was talking about it on stream too. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are going to jump ship and go to Mixer just because of that. Uh, but for me, it's <laughs> like, it's all good. Like, it's GG's, you know, good job. That's a lot of money for him. That's, That's a, a lot, lot of money, money for him. He's yeah. set for life. Yeah. Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Did they put they put out a number for him? No, but you no, know it's but millions. 100% it's a lot of money. It's millions. Him. Yeah, millions. For, for sure. But, uh, to, to, to play to exclusively yeah. on so, Mixer. So Mixer is owned by Microsoft. Mm-hmm. And so, Damn. So they've been Shit. promoting that on their like Twitter feed too. Like all the... Mad, Microsoft like, people. mad promotion, yeah. Ninja on Mixer, Ninja on Mixer. Yeah. To, like, so they're doing a really good job pushing it out there. Oh, yeah, I signed up. and So I, Mixer I mean, is going to be, be a, able to sign up I for already Mixer. had a Mixer, but I never cared for it. I never yeah. downloaded the app. Downloaded the app right away. Boom, 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 boom. So it's going to be, like, easy for, like, Mixer and Xbox to kind of just, you know what I mean? Oh, it's, it's already main, there. Already, it's, it's already there. there. Yeah, okay. like, how easy it is kind of to stream Twitch on, like, your PS4. It's super easy to stream Mixer on yeah, the Xbox. It's integrated so well, but no one fucking does it. No. Now that now Ninja's though. there, people are going to jump on Mixer. Yeah. Uh, well, what was the figure that you said that jumped on? Like, the amount of people that... Uh, oh, uh, he had 80K uh, viewers on crazy. his first stream, uh, which was over his average on Twitch. Uh, he had 500,000 subscribers. Uh, leading up to in, it. Uh, leading up and on the day of his stream. Uh, five hundred. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, that was a lot of free free subs. Though. Yeah, they were free subs. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I mean, but we'll see because I mean, this is just his first show. So I mean, I don't see. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, but pe- those I'm, people I'm, that love Ninja and no, it shows how be, much pull Ninja has. They'll but like, I don't right understand thing. it. I don't understand. Like, I well, like if I'm, you're I'm get... old. I'm old, so I don't understand watching someone else play a video game when I can just oh, play man, a video game that's, myself. That's I just don't know it. People people do that now. Fan of Ninja, but there are certain streamers out there that are fucking and, and, just entertaining to watch. Like, yeah. I, I like Doctor Disrespect. He's mm-hmm. fucking hilarious. And, I like his name. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and you should watch him. You would love him actually because he has a fucking like he's an asshole. And, and aside from and gaming, just like, streaming in general, like that's a huge market now. And then to be honest, I, a lot I watch some streamers to just check out the new games. Like, oh, is this new game came out? Let me check out the streamer and watch them play it because I want to know whether to which guys. Uh, quick announcement: I have someone in uh, at a certain store 
who is going to have access to games a week before they come out. I'm trying to work on something oh, where I can get weeks before they get come out and we can perhaps like stream it. He's got a plug. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got no. a video game oh, plug. No. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I, I'm going to... Well, he's got to prove it. Get, clip this. Someone clip this. Yeah, I'm working it's really now. hard. It's I'm working file. really hard because we want to make sure that, of course, we do. We go based on those rules. So we want to see, like, of course, where we're going to land. I can't see say exactly <laughs> who or, or what that store is. Um... Uh, but yeah, I'm working on it. I'm this close. We're trying to we're trying to verify this upcoming game that's coming out. What game? Um, fuck, what's this game called? I don't know. It's a it's a crappy game because you know I don't follow the crappy games. It's a. Um... All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 All right, so, some game. Uh, so yeah, tell us what you guys think about Ninja Moving. Are you gonna stream on Mixer? Are you gonna download? I'm Mixer? streaming on Mixer. I'm gonna try to get that on Mixer. Shit. Wow, bandwagon. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. Sheep. Uh, Sheep. Sheep. All right. Uh, Next thing I wanted to bring up, well, well, Evo. Uh, Evo, go ahead, bring it up. All right, so he, uh, the fucking World Fighting Championships are going on right now at Evo this weekend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if you're watching the show on Monday, for Dragon Ball Z fighters, uh, <laughs> if you're watching uh, the Japan. show on Monday, it just happened this weekend. Now, obviously, we don't know all the winners from all the fighting games. We got Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. No, uh, Dragon I Ball <laughs> Fighters. I knew, that, I knew that would trigger you, fuckers. Fighters. Uh, we got Super Smash Brothers fighters. Ultimate, Soul Calibur, uh, five or six? No, it's six, right? Uh, uh, you got. Uh, all the fucking huge fighting games over there, and uh, p the best fight, uh, the best players from around the world are battling it out for these nice, uh, nice cash prizes in Las um, Vegas. So far, what I've seen is uh, we got the Soul Calibur winner, uh, freaking Utoto from Japan, Utoto. ended up beating up uh, Big Blue from here in the U.S. Uh, I was watching some of it, and damn, it was like super competitive. It makes me want to play Soul Calibur. <laughs> Actually, tonight, if you come through, we're playing fucking Soul Calibur. Right? My girl Taki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Evo's always fucking entertaining. Uh, super Smash Brothers Ultimate is on, was on Sunday, so go back and check it out if you haven't, because those fucking matches are always fucking badass and entertaining, and they got some great personalities in those pools. Uh, but yeah, uh, Evo going on. Check it out. Uh, last thing on the on the shit. Uh, yes, and so also the big announcement which came out I think yesterday or today. Thursday. Thursday. It was Thursday. Yeah. Uh, is, which yeah. is Call of Duty Ooh. and their new multiplayer trailer. Modern Warfare. I can't Modern wait. Warfare. I can't. Hell oh, yes. Oh, uh, they so show some new stages. There was a really cool one where they're in like a cave. Um, I thought that was really cool at the very beginning yeah, of the trailer. Yeah, just so many modes yeah. that I saw throughout the reveal streams that they were doing. I was watching Dr. Disrespect, fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> uh, you it. had Shroud in the reveal stream. You had Courage. You had uh, Myth. Uh, you had a bunch of uh, these top streamers, uh, Stream FPS uh, streamers, at this reveal event. And fuck, it was badass because they showed off all these modes. So one of the modes was the regular... You know, 6v6, which looked fun, because uh, apparently you could customize your gun like fucking crazy now. That's uh, nice. And it makes if everybody feel individual and unique. Oh, I know Elias loves that shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Isn't it, hasn't it um, always been customizable for the most part? Yeah, but now they took it to a whole oh, other level. Like now now yeah, you okay. can detail it. Yeah, to everything. Team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And another okay. mode they did introduce, which I think a lot of people are hyped for, is the 2v2, uh, which is That's super quick. Super fast, super fun. People yeah. talking shit to you. like. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. I mode. think I'll come back to Call of Duty, with and this that's game. exactly how I feel about it. Cause I totally skipped Black Ops. Uh, the I just played a zombie. One. I just played zombie. I, I totally skipped it. I didn't care for it. But what I've seen from Modern Warfare just gets me so high. But is it just multiplayer or is there a story? Yeah, there's a fucking story. campaign. There's, there's always there's a, a story. fucking campaign. And they're saving that reveal for later in the year because yeah, it comes out sense. in October. Uh, oh shit! Sorry. Really? Um, really? Uh, uh, Metroid. Uh, Metroid. <laughs> uh, no, but 2v2. Yeah, two two. And then what <laughs> I saw time. also is a 20v20, if I'm not oh mistaken. God, There's... But they already have that on that special disc that they just came out with. What? Yeah, the, the... I saw them in Black Ops. Don't they have that? Yeah, the, don't yeah. they have that? No. At least you have that but... game. No. They have Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Yeah, so that's like, kind of that's not. That's oh, not, that's 20 not 20 v 20, 20. And I saw some of this. That, that's more like that's more like a Battlefield kind of shit. Correct. That's We're more, like more going that way, but which is dope. Call of Duty style. Yeah. And to be honest, from what I saw, it looked super fun because it's yeah, it's hectic. Yeah. You got twenty versus but twenty. That, but that's it's best, huge maps. Yeah. But 
It looks super fun. What, what'd you? Get yeah, I was gonna ask Elias. Are you gonna get it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pre-order it. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, right beta but this I'm September. Not, I'm, not, I'm not sold on it. I'm like, really? Really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought you would be the main one sold on it. No, I've never been a fan of the uh, Modern Warfare series. I, I don't like how dry it looks. That's the only thing. Dry? It looked good to me. No. It what, what do you mean by like, it looks if good? You see it uh, compared to the Treyarch uh, versions of the Call of Duty games. Like it looks more alive. Like these, these go way too much to the realism when the when the game is more arcadey versus being real. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I, I don't like that. I like, like the me. different style. I, I like didn't like Black Ops. Yeah. It's because cause everybody it wants is. to be it to yeah, be yeah, realistic. That's what it is. Everybody but, wants to be realistic. But honestly, man, like I don't know, like I probably get flack for saying this, but like I feel this is for the angry kids for of the Call of Duty Four. Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. I think these angry kids are coming back. Because, oh, like in the be, lobby? <laughs> because because the it lobby looks kids. like the original games before they started going to jet packs, yeah. before they started adding more color in their games, yeah, before they it. added the zombies. But, but, yes, they like, but now all those kids are growing up. I know, and that's why those kids are coming <laughs> back, because it looks more real. And like the 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 game modes they added in this one is two v two, three v three, six v six, ten v ten, twenty versus twenty, uh, and then there's rumors of a hundred versus a hundred. God damn! Uh, that's crazy. That's there's like also army, there's also realistic. <laughs> real, there's realistic mode. That's that night vision one you saw. That's yeah. that's where they turn off all the HUDs well, yeah. and it's like realistic. Yeah. Oh, Let's okay. fucking go. Um, that, hey, that looked badass, Elias. No, yeah, I'm not. It saying, looked badass. I'm not saying it looks bad. What I'm saying is like for me, We're like to it, you. it doesn't really like drive me to go buy it. What what's driving me to go buy this game is crossplay. Crossplay is confirmed. Oh. Crossplay at the event, they were playing it crossplay. They had people on PS4s, on PCs, so and PS4, Xboxes. Okay. They were all Stadia. playing. Okay. They're all playing together. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Stadia's not even out yet, so we don't even. Have I know. I, look, I, I, look. The reason I made that joke, guys, Stadia was like came out on fire, and then like they just sizzled out. Like hey, I man. don't know. My Elias, no, not Elias. Those like I'm gonna be the first time, and he spent hey, like a hundred. I want to get it. I want that controller. Hey, that. Hey, my my stadia is coming in September. It's rumored that they, it's rumored that they're having significant issues with the whole cro- it's, it's crossplay. Gonna, it's gonna be they're like having that. really big issues. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. To be honest, while. Sony hasn't confirmed. Yeah. That they're no, they are. It's been confirmed. N- no, it's not. How much you want to bet right now? Oh, I've seen it already. You, you want to bet? Was it today? Was it today? And then it came out. That was a no, no, no. They already confirmed it. Like other publications have confirmed it because they asked about that. Yeah, <laughs> but has, but Sony can sometimes be. I know, but Sony, Sony is starting to play ball. They understand the market now nice. is, is changing for them too. Nice, nice. So if anything, they're moving towards okay. Let's do some crossplay, but let's not go. So too I'm getting crazy. this. On, so I'm getting this game on Xbox then, because I could just play with all my peeps. I'm on getting PS4. it on Xbox because I mean that's what I have. I have but. I, and I was debating about getting on PC, but I'm horrible on keyboard and mouse. So, <laughs> but I, I don't understand very, very, why would they release it in 100%. September? Why not hold off, finesse the game, and release no, it? No, the with beta it? is in September. September. Oh, okay. The game com- is coming out in oh, October. Oh, okay, okay. No, oh, that's no. what I'm saying. October. Why don't they hold off till next year? Why? Why? Games with the new consoles. They're, why? Both consoles come out. A new Call of Duty is going to come out next year. Yeah. They do, a new they do it every year. year. So they, they ha- it has to come mm-hmm. out this year. Like yeah. They always come out every November. Uh, yeah. And but uh, just to go back on Call of Duty, uh, it has heavy, heavy vibes of Siege, a Battlefield, like you guys were mentioning it. Uh, uh, it's just showing that they're they're also trying to uh, go with the uh, flow, too, with the way these other games have been like – uh, sustainable throughout the years. Siege has been out for a while. Yeah, uh, Overwatch good. has been out for a while. Battlefield's a piece of shit. I mean, I don't know why people play that. But, <laughs> yeah. like, I, I kinda hey, like, but, but, bro, like, there's so many people that play Battlefield, bombs. dude. But I there's dropping there, bombs. I mean, but they're, um, they're adding a lot of in, things that they believe people are going to want to play. Uh, they're also going to have uh, Spec Ops in there. Uh, yes, there's going to be a story mode. And there's some bullshit fucking like uh, uh, like news reports, quote unquote, fake news, uh, that that people are, are having issues with one of the kill streaks in the game. It's like uh, white phosphorus or something like that. I haven't heard of that. It, what is that? Exactly. What, what is you that? haven't heard, heard of about that. it. Is, you haven't heard about what it. What is that? But apparently, if you go on Twitter, you go to like a Kotaku, Polygon, like all these like gaming uh, news sources. Apparently, it's a huge issue when it's fucking not. Nobody fucking so cares. So it doesn't actually exist. Uh, yeah. So what's the kill streak? What ha- so you get the kill streak, you get white saying, phosphorus. What does it do? It, it basically, you kill like the people on the playing field. You know, like, like basically, everybody. Like by no, a, just your enemy team. Oh. Like a Okay. It, no, it's not a nuke yet. It's like 10 kills or something like that. Okay. But the thing is, is that they're saying compared this to how they're trying to be realistic and how like this type of like yeah. kill streak in the real world is fucking uh, determined to be like uh, 
like a terrorist type of level of like weaponry. Like what they don't. The fuck? They don't like Dude, this shit is going too realistic. Yeah, like they don't. They don't use that actual like type of weaponry in battlefields because it's like considered to be like just too extreme. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's against the rules of war. Uh, yeah, shit, stuff like yeah. that. So there's like issues about people popping that up in the, in these news articles. But honestly, nobody gives a fuck. It's a fucking game. Like they're just trying to show. Like this is this is what the kids want. This is why it's becoming such a big hype train because they want the yeah. realism in there. And for me, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be getting 10 kills in a row. That shit is hard. <laughs> and you never know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Well, like, games... if you have, like, the 30 on 30, like, I Yeah, feel like you, never, you, you never, you never know. That. So, but I, I, um, I, I get your point, Elias, with the, when everyone's pushing the realism. Um, it's just, it's a video game, people. But, I mean, what you guys want, you that's why it's very important that you guys stop buying DLCs. So you can get oh, it. there is no season pass for this game. Every, all oh, the yeah. apps is free. Really? And all the updates oh, Okay. Are free. All the updates are free. But, I'm super uh, high. But, I'm, I'm but you know there's going to be some type of microtransaction. That's all. That's yeah, fine. exactly. That's there's going to be cosmetics. some type. Cosmetics. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so far, so those, far uh, there was one uh, thing on KF, Kind of Funny Games, where they were talking about how, uh, uh, what's that, uh, Crash Team Racing didn't yeah. have anything. And then like a month after release of the game, they, added, they implemented the microtransactions because people started realizing that a lot of the grinding in the game was like long Too just much. to yeah. unlock yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then people, uh, I'm, I'm feeling like if they do the same shit for COD, which I hope they don't, like, man, I don't know how people are going to take it. I'm pretty sure they're not going to give a fuck if the game is decent, but it's stupid. I hate how like a lot of these new games, like, like they implement like long grindings just to unlock something, but they only do that for you to fucking go out and actually buy and buy the instead. thing. Yeah. yeah, but see, that's what's happening in all the video games nowadays. You can't stop it. That's with Mortal Kombat. Yeah. That's with uh, uh, Call of Duty. That's with Siege. Uh, I mean, uh, Spider Man. Um, no, not Spider Man. I'm sorry. Um, ah, what's the fucking game? But what I'm basically my point is, there's always going to be transactions moving forward. It's just going to be part of. No, gaming. I understand that, but this is part of gaming. But though. my my issue is that you're pre pretty much like doubling or tripling the actual like time it would actually get me to to, to get to, you that to thing. get that one piece mm -hmm. or whatever it is in the game, just because you're you're trying to push your fucking microtransactions on me. That Man. shit pisses me off. I don't care if it's cosmetics. <laughs> See, that's why. That's it's why you're a horrible gamer. Don't buy it. That's uh, don't, buy it. Don't, buy, think... don't buy it. Don't stop. You stop buying it too. I'm not buying shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying stupid DLCs and shit. Don't buy it. Look, but... you no, I'm that super shit. hyped for Modern Warfare. I think this is a return. This is gonna be the yeah, return I'm, to form. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. buy. This I'm... is gonna what brings all those old school uh, Con fucking Call of Duty Con players back, back into yeah, the fold. Angry kids are back. Thank God. Not all this battle royale. People's feelings are gonna get hurt. All this bullshit. Fuck that. Arcade fucking shooter. No, we are getting back to the real gist of it. Modern warfare. We'll see. Kill motherfucking terrorists. Let's fucking go. <laughs> two v two. Come at me, bro. <laughs> all right, come on, man. Final, final touches. Uh, all on, right, man. so we're gonna end the show on, with basically just talking about what we've been watching, what we've been playing, and the solace of our homes. Yeah, I'll start it off. I'll go start ahead. Off. Uh, so in Austin, uh, you guys will see that in the hump day show, I did get sick. I got food poisoning. And so during that time frame of that stomach pain, uh, I started watching the boys from Amazon. Yes. Guys, that shit is go legit. watch that shit. That shit is dope. Right now. Rated hard. It should be rated M because it's it's, it's it's gory. It's fucked up. I, I love it. Like they don't hold back any punches. They, really don't. they go all out. Great story. Great twist. Go watch it. I recommend it. The boys. The watch boys it right now on Amazon Prime. Um, I've been watching uh, The Boys. I've been. Uh, I just finished uh, the new um, uh, season of The Bachelorette. That shit was legit. <laughs> this motherfucker here. That shit was legit. Uh, Man, you don't know that stuff's real, right? Like it's all scripted. It's all scripted. Yeah, sure. Who cares? Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure you know. Uh, and I've also been watching the new season of uh, Jersey Shore. Which oh, has been man. fucking badass. I've been wanting to watch. Oh, that still watching. existing? Yeah, yeah fa Family Vacation, it. right? Yeah, Family Vacation. Yeah, that's fucking, just funny, fucking man. Fucking solid. Uh, oh and God. as far as what I've been playing, Fire Emblem Three <laughs> fucking bought Houses. It. You yeah. stupid. Three <laughs> fucking houses. Uh, that shit has been legit. Unfortunately, I've been on vacation. I've been working. I haven't had the time to really delve in. Thanks a lot, fucking Leo. Yeah. Motherfucker. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> from the short, from the short, uh, you know, couple of hours that I put into it, they really like 
doubling down on the relationships aspect, which a lot of people love from the other games, like building relationships, hooking your your fucking uh, characters up, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they have sex and then they have kids. Uh, so they're really I doubling down. That's his favorite part, I dude. Know, so let's move along, man. No, because then they make a badass kid and that motherfucker's super strong. And then the battles and then, oh shit, it's like fucking badass. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's, it's really good. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with uh with uh three houses. Uh, I can't wait to get deeper into it because this seems like RPG mechanics. That's what he said. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, RPG mechanics are really deep this time. So yeah, really excited about that. So Leo, do I have TV in, in, in Toronto? Uh, yeah, we do actually. Do you have cable there? Yeah, 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 it's crazy. Satellite. <laughs> it's so what, what, I, what I just finished <laughs> watching was uh, it's an HBO show called Euphoria. It's badass. It's like that, that girl. Do you need to get off that girl's tit, dog? Oh, well, Euphoria that, from HBO? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're watching Zendaya. Zendaya. Yeah, I watched an episode of your crazy. You need to get off weird. Zendaya's tit, it's bro. Like, like, the pilot episode, I will say, is one of the best pilot episodes I've ever seen for any show. Well, this is your first show that you watch since you're in here in America. Yeah, yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can watch Apparently. real TV. Yeah. Now you can watch yeah. real TV yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I watched pilot in Canada, actually. But anyways, um... It, it was had an awesome ending like the twist in that show you don't see it coming it's very realistic it, it, like if you're into like like Call of Duty no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into like the coming of age type of storylines like this is good like it's not corny like Riverdale or or any of those I've never seen shows. those shows those shows are corny like coming of age this is like realistic shit like, like really, you're gonna get fucked it's like literally it, it, it is drama yeah but it's like drama would be like holy shit you know she get I mean? fucked uh, Zendaya Everybody? I can't spoil that, yeah. Oh, so she didn't. Are we seeing this? I can't spoil that. What are you watching? Is Zendaya naked in this show? I can't spoil that. She's she moving, she's growing up. Are we seeing like? But you know she's like eighteen, right? Seeing some ass. <laughs> she's eighteen, bro. She's she too young. I swear she's little. I swear she's in her twenties. Uh, oh no, she's she's of age. Hey, whoa, no whoa. idea. She's of age. Okay. <laughs> Elias, what have you been watching or playing? Huh? What have you been watching or playing? Uh, been playing some For Honor that would just went free on uh, Epic Oh, Game yeah. Store. Um, He's trying know. to get good. Yeah, it's hard. That's just hard. Hell yeah. I downloaded uh, it and I took it off. <laughs> <laughs> Too hard. It is a hard game. Yeah, yeah. it was for Xbox. Yeah, like, it's like Siege. You've got to put like mad hours into it to yeah. get good. Um, and good. other than that, really, I've just <laughs> been playing a lot of like Blackout and Call, 4, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, that's it. I mean... Don't really get too. Diverse. Well, uh, Elias does Twitch. Uh, you can go ahead and follow him and his twitching escapades at JRX4X at Twitch. TV. TV. JRX4X. Hey man, which y'all have Amazon Prime? You better sub to me. That shit is free. Oh yeah. yeah. I think okay. I yeah, just link it to your Twitch and you can sub to him for free. I don't know how to do that. Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all talking to the guy that doesn't know all this new computer Link shit, man. Link your god, Twitch man. to your you? Amazon. I don't have a Twitch. I don't have a Twitch. Uh, yes, you do, because you've streamed before. He streamed on the oh, podcast. On the, on. Oh, okay. Create a fucking Twitch channel. <laughs> I'm doing Mixer. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, special oh, no. shout out to Elias. No, 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 no. Uh, final, our punches. Our final punches. Our last words. We're gonna end the show like that. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, anybody want to go first? Who wants yeah, to go I'll first? go first. All right. Uh, I told you guys from the very beginning, Resident Evil Two was gonna be game of the year, and it looks like it's still gonna stand. As uh, game of the year. We got a couple of games coming out this this year. Pokemon, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, Final Punches. Uh, yeah. I am really upset about how EA Sports treated the Raptors in their 2K20 trip. Oh, uh, what's the name? Dunked on the. Kawhi, they show Kawhi dunking yeah. on the Raptors. That is the only. That's the only clips you see the Raptors. They won a fucking championship, <laughs> and that's what we get. It's, it's, fucked, up. it's fucked up, man. Dunking on the Raptors. Yeah. Dunking yeah. on the Raptors. Right. So that's up, what man. the whole league is about to do yeah. Right. this yeah. season. Yeah. 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 No, 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 it's not wrong. It's not, that that's, incorrect. It's supposed to be realistic. <laughs> it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to be realistic. December 11th, he's coming back. Uh, uh, jerks? Uh, no, no, nothing. I'm good. Uh, I just want to call it right now. The Strolls are going to win the uh, World Series. Uh, Granky, Verlander, Cole. Nah, uh, nah, you nah. got the greatest lineup. Nah, nah, nah. Greatest no, lineup no, one through nine a, ever seen in the face broken, of this earth. Such a broken team. Uh, it's like, a fucking video game the Astros just, are playing. They're gonna win the World Series. 
uh, two World Series in three years, and who knows how many more in the future. Uh, yeah, that's my last word. So thank you guys for watching. We are on Anchor, Spotify, Anchor, iTunes, uh, Anchor, Anchor. Anchor. We're on Spotify. Twitter, Twitter. We're on Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> Instagram. Uh, shout out to Elias. He's the man that's holding it down with all the tech stuff. As you guys can see, I don't know none of that shit. So uh, thank you so shout much for watching. Jerks. Please like and subscribe. Ring that motherfucking bell. Peace! Peace! Later. Yeah, good show.